So I would like to uh, talk a little bit more today about omitted variable bias. And uh, we typically, in the single variable case, we have a regression like y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x. And we might imagine that our estimate of beta 1, beta 1 hat, suffers from omitted variable bias. That is, the, our estimate of the coefficient is biased if, and there's two conditions for omitted variable bias, if um, there, there is an omitted variable, z, that's uh, correlated, that's correlated with x, and z is a determinant of y. So those are the two conditions for omitted variable bias. Uh, now, in a, var in a regression with x uh, alone, uh, x affects y then, we can think uh, conceptually, through two channels. The first channel is the direct effect of x on y, and the second channel is through this omitted variable z. That is, x is correlated with z, and z affects y, so that's the indirect effect. So our coefficient that we estimate, beta 1, hat in a um, single uh, regression equation, is uh, going to depend on the signs, positive or negative, of these uh, effects. So um, that will determine the bias, the nature of the bias in, in beta 1 hat, and also what beta 1 hat will be when we estimate uh, beta 1 uh, hat, when we have a regression where we include the omitted variable, where we include z, where we control for z in the regression. So then we'll have a new beta 1 hat that we can compare with our original uh, this first beta 1 hat, and it'll be different, and the direction of how it should change uh, depends on the signs, if this direct effect is positive or negative, and the signs of this indirect effect, if it's positive or uh, negative. So let's look through a little example uh, and see. Suppose our example is that we have test scores as a function of teacher quality, uh, and we have an omitted variable that's the average income of students' uh, families in a school district. So we might imagine that teacher quality, our x variable, so our x variable has a direct effect on the outcome test scores, and that's a positive effect in this case. Higher teacher quality means uh, higher test scores. But we also have an omitted variable, z, the average income. We imagine that in schools where there's higher average student income, there's also teachers of higher quality, so there's a positive correlation there, and we can imagine that higher income is associated with higher test scores, so that's also a positive relationship. So, uh, our estimated coefficient alone, when we estimate beta 1 hat, when we don't control for z, uh, that will be the sum, the addition of two effects, the direct effect and the indirect effect. Both effects are positive, um, so beta 1 hat will be too big, right? It's, it has this direct effect and this indirect effect. They're both positive, so it'll be too big of an effect. When we control for z, this beta 1 hat will be smaller. So this beta 1 hat will be smaller than this beta 1 um, when we control for z. Because now we're controlling for this effect, so the only effect that would be left over is that effect that will be our estimate of what b hat, uh, uh, b1 hat is.